Sup dudes, what's going on guys here? My name is Buzz and today we're going to be doing a Q&A and I probably just clickbaited you into watching this. But yeah, go ahead and comment down below one question you want for me or find them through Twitter at XBuzzerman. I have quite a few that are just, just begging your names. All you have to do is ask and if I like it, more than likely I'll answer it. I just wanted to kind of give you guys like a little insight to me because I feel like we haven't actually talked. You guys watch Buzz the Roblox player, but not Buzz the Spencer guy. So maybe this will give us an opportunity to, you know, talk a little bit. Let's go ahead and get on into the questions. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. They're all through Twitter, but I will be using Twitter and YouTube now so you can either comment or tweet me at xbuzzerman very easy and uh yeah here's the first one by marshy johnson basically saying what did you do when you're off the camera pretty sure i said that right so yeah um i'm actually on the camera a lot if you haven't noticed it's been like daily uploads gang 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 and uh i'm i think i'm one of the few youtubers that literally does everything i make the thumbnails i edit the video i record it yeah yeah do all the, the the back works and stuff and i just do that just for the fact that i mean i want it done my way and i want it done with my creative i haven't found someone that's creative enough to where i can be like all right i'm gonna hire you full time and plus if i have they are they're probably really expensive or you know i'm not at the point where i i can actually afford to hire people so i do that a lot that takes up about four hours of the day after that i go to school i in college and that takes up a lot of time I'm also in three different organizations ranging from like a business management to like stock and hedge fund analysis really boring stuff basically but somehow I like it so I'm from like 7 in the morning to like 9 at night I have usually something going on and for most people that might be like oh my god that's awful but for me, I love it because it makes the day go by like that. Most of the days, I usually don't get as much as I'm trying to accomplish because I set these huge goals. One, one tip of advice, set goals every single day, and I swear you'll become such a more productive person. All right, for our second one, it's going to be by Kiara Andrews. It's when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grow, when you grow up? I am sucking at reading right now. Uh, I really want to be a baseball player, and I really want to be an animator. Simple as that. I loved, I loved making things and drawing and doing all that. So I was like, in animation, I could literally make movies. That would be so cool if I could make some movies or be an influential part of making movies. Or And then I also love baseball, and it kind of somehow worked out that I'm a YouTuber now because I am basically doing what I wanted to do as making movies. You know, I'm creating something every day. It's pretty awesome. Third question we have by Obsidian Falls. What is your favorite color? It's any shade of purple. I think purple is an awesome color. Or maybe an aqua color. I just like those like real beachy beachy vibes. Our next one is by Sinep. Do you have abs? Hello, Sinep. Just working out seven times a week, four times every day. Count me as having, probably having abs. This was me three years ago. This is me now. <laughs> After that, we have Kate, which is asking, if you told Pass Buddy you're going to make a career off of playing Roblox, how do you think Pass Buddy? he would react well he would say what the f are you thinking guys i never imagined this to be the, the 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 shot or how i got everything that i need to get until i guess i actually found it i always knew i wanted to be creative i always knew i wanted to kind of do something on my own to where i'm running it and it somehow i i became across youtube i thought it was so cool how people were playing youtube stuff how people were doing youtube stuff and it went from me trying to do call of duty to trying to do minecraft to trying to do in real life stuff to doing skits i've done literally everything people are always like god he jumps on the trend uh, I just do whatever I'm having fun with at the time and right now it's Roblox so uh, if you ask me coming into this I would have been like wow our next one is by Bobby John and why are you a youtuber and who inspired me like I said I wanted to be creative on my own I thought that was so cool how people could be just creative and just do some they were literally making their career for themselves I always wanted to you know do something early on as a younger kid I always was trying to be a lot older than I needed to be I kind of realized that it should be the opposite way now you'd probably be just your age but I was always into like, you know, starting something and building it up. I had a real obsessive personality and I always loved YouTube. So I tried it out after I tried it out like four different times, different channels, you know, how to's to Call of Duty to Pokemon to now it was now it's my YouTube channel. Now that's X Buzzer Man. That really started when I when my laptop broke. I burnt my laptop because I was always putting it on like covers and things and it overheat. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a desktop this time. Same amount of price and I can actually like become a YouTuber and get my render times to like 30 minutes. And I did it and I was like, I'm gonna post every single day. I recorded about 12 videos the first day because I was so excited, but I was, I was about to literally upload 
all 12 videos on one day. But I paced it out and slowly but surely really worked super hard to get it to where I am now. And who inspired me? My biggest inspiration that started off was probably Hutch, C. Nanners, and uh, Woody's Gamer Tag. Those are the three guys I watched that really got me into YouTube heavily, heavily. Now I could say guys who inspire me now, but those are the guys who really got me into it. Loved watching their stuff while watching, well, loved watching the podcasts they ran. For our seventh one, it's going to be from Walter. And am I an American or am I a redneck? What kind of neck this look like, Bo? This look good? This look like a good redneck right here, Bo? <laughs> I love how the guy just says, are you American or are you redneck? <laughs> because rednecks aren't American. Dang Yankees. Our eighth one is going to be, why do you always change your background? That's just because I go from home to college and I was, I think last year, it was always the same background, you know, the trophies and stuff. Then it changed to me at my college apartment. And now I'm still in the college apartment, but I just sw I switched it to a different area. And this college apartment is now an office and I have another apartment somewhere else. So this should be pretty, pretty permanent for a while, you know, at least a year. I'll be back at my house sometimes. So I might record from there. And uh, the next one's by Luke Jamu. Uh, the worst, Jamuk Luke himself, guaranteed clickbait. You are very right. Our 10th one is by Teddy Parks. Do you like spicy food? If so, what's your favorite? Feel like spicy food is probably my favorite food. If uh, you can ask anyone, if I were to go out, I'm always going to get something spicy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Can't get enough of spicy food. I always go for the hottest wings, the hottest sauces everywhere. I've done the flashbang challenge. I've done the, the ghost pepper. I've done it all. I, I don't know why I love that pain. It just feels great. Great to get being on fire. It's like eating water to me when I eat a mild wing. That at least hot. At least has to be hot. Denver Knox asks, what is the most useless thing you've ever spent Robux on? There's been a lot. I think when I was skipping a ton of, I, th I think I skipped the first 10 stages in Epic Jump Run. <laughs> no, what's it called? Speed Run. Speed Run 4 or whatever. I spent like, I spent a ton of Robux on just, just avoiding that. I think I literally created a video spending 10,000 Robux on the most pointless stuff. And there it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. But I like YouTube. Mm, I wonder, do you? Do you like it, bro? Who what inspired you? Who what inspired you to do YouTube? And any advice for new YouTubers? Ask the first question. I told you guys, inspired what inspired me. Who inspired me? I'll kind of go a little bit deeper. Basically, what inspired me in the fullest was just I don't know. I was kind of running out of hobbies. I was an obsessive gamer. I had a terrible addiction when it comes to like Call of Duty. I played like twenty four seven. I I don't know. I wanted something that was actually productive to use my personality on and I guess it kind of worked out because I've had so many great opportunities from it any advice for new youtubers just starting out uh, one of the biggest things is be true to yourself and I know everyone's gonna tell you this but you you have to take it over anything coming from a guy who's done it literally all I've done the clickbait I've done the stupid giveaways I've done stupid things I made so many mistakes on this channel but somehow got lucky enough to really push it is make a schedule stick to it stick to it stick to it do not avoid do not say all right it's not going to matter that much it matters so much for you to stick to a schedule because starting out as a new youtuber you could post once and be like oh, i'll post when i feel like it again no you got to feel it every freaking day or else you don't really want it that bad and then when you start getting bigger and things you've already worked up such a good work ethic that yeah maybe you take a day or two off or even quite a few days off i don't know you're trying to do it for passion but i'm telling you if you want to be good at this and you want to really be successful you got to stick to the schedule and just be yourself do not try things that are just going to get you easy views. Easy views are the worst views. Our 13th one is, will I ever go back to playing Minecraft? Uh, Yeah, probably. Probably. I've just got to know when I want. I, I got to have a good idea with it. I ran out of all my really good ideas, I think, with Minecraft. That's why I kind of went over to Roblox and just for the fact that, um, it was. I mean, Minecraft, it gets, you, you can only play it so long. I did away with Minecraft once because I just didn't, I was so sick of making Minecraft videos that I was like, all right, let's, let's jump on to another bandwagon. Really into Clash of Clans at the time. I loved playing that game and I saw it was actually doing well on YouTube so I, I started to hop into that. Then it got to the point where the only time I ever got on to play Clash of Clans, I avoided it, went away. It, it, I hated playing Clash of Clans. I still don't play it to this day because I burned myself so much, so so terribly out on it. There you go back again to Minecraft. 
I don't play it. I haven't played it since I made my last video. So that shows I, I don't want to make I don't want to make content that I'm not passionate about. But still now and again I get intrigued. So there you probably might see a good Minecraft video come out pretty soon. I think there's so many people that want to see it that I, I should do it. After that, for our 14th one, what is my favorite thing about Roblox? Uh just for the fact that it's come so far and it's been here so long. I think that's pretty cool how the game's been around so long and it's just now and it's getting super relevant now. And it's so misunderstood. It's actually a lot more fun than people think. Our 15th one is is do I buy Bobby Skull GFX and it's do I read my tweets? Gotcha. <laughs> After that, we have one by Galactic Wolf and it says, What would you be doing if I weren't a YouTuber? This one's kind of hard because I don't know. I would definitely be in college right now, like like I am right now still, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities that I think I would have missed out on. I mean, I didn't get to go out and meet a lot of famous people or a lot of very influential people. I wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to pay for the specific college that I wanted. I wouldn't have even got the opportunity to meet you guys in person sometimes. So if I weren't doing a YouTuber, I definitely would be on some project right now. Very, It'd probably be very, very far into it because I when I get onto something I really go for it and you know I mean you, you if you got to have that kind of personality to do YouTube or anything like that for our 17th one is obviously you have sports things on your wall but am I really into sports that's by Caden and I'm actually extremely into sports here you go Tigers rep that, that gang 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 um, I'm into baseball basketball soccer hockey golf I love all the games right now I'm playing a ton of golf we play a lot of basketball we play a lot of football play a lot of the other football play basically every sport watch to have a team for every sport mostly Detroit some others some not I watch college college sports pro sports semi pro sports I just grew up watching sports I love it I love it for our 18th one we're gonna go by bull up bull pop bull pop Roblox what's your favorite video I've ever done and it's actually it's actually a Pokemon Go video and it was like five types of co Pokemon Go players it was like a short five minute skit that did really well got like a million views or something like that a million two million views and it's me and one of my best friends of all time literally making a skit about how Pokemon Go players act I don't know why I like it so much. I just found we had a, such a good time recording it and such a good time editing it. And it just worked out really well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, guys, on Twitter, all you have to do is follow me and tweet at me. And we might do this again, but that was a and a Hopefully, you guys got to learn a little bit more about Buzz or Spencer. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for taking the time out of the day to watch my content. I'll see you guys next time. Later.